hurt. We're sorry, Sorting Hat, but you've got your work cut out for you. The Dance Moms crew isn't made up of super simple people. Quite on the contrary, really. These stars possess many different traits, which can make them challenging to read. But then again, you're the Sorting Hat for crying out loud, so you totally know what you're up against. And hey, if you could sort Harry Potter, then you can definitely sort Maddie Ziegler. The Dance Moms cast is made up of many different personalities, which is sure to keep things interesting. We're about to sort out our favorite dancers into their respective Hogwarts houses, so don't go anywhere. You won't believe which house Maddie Ziegler is destined to thrive in. And I'm an expert at the Maddie face. Mackenzie Ziegler. She's sassy, brave, and doesn't pay attention to the rules, which is why Mackenzie Ziegler is a true-born Gryffindor. She acts now and asks questions later, and has a knack for getting into trouble. Kenzie is brave at heart and very outgoing. The youngest Ziegler sister has nerve, determination, and courage. Chloe Lukasiak Chloe Lukasiak is one of the brightest stars on Dance Moms. She's sharp, accepting, and super original. We're not too surprised to find out that Chloe belongs in Ravenclaw. After all, she did get accepted into Pepperdine University, which is no small feat. Chloe would make Rowena Ravenclaw proud. Cameron Bridges Cameron Bridges isn't a mean girl, but she's not about to let others step all over her either. She is hardworking, dedicated, and super modest, making her a great addition to the Hufflepuff house. Contrary to popular belief, Hufflepuffs aren't timid pushovers who never come out on top. Sure, they're friendly and fair, but they're as mighty as the feisty honey badger when pushed. Kindle Vertes Kindle Vertes is one of those people who are sort of hard to sort into one category. At first glance, she comes off as a total Slytherin. After all, she's played the mean girl a few times. But according to Kindle, her true personality wasn't allowed to shine on Dance Moms. Kindle prides herself on being a good friend who is loyal and hardworking. I'm not lazy, I'm a hard worker. She's a Hufflepuff through and through. Nia Sue. Nia Sue is by far the nicest person to have ever danced on the set of Dance Moms. She's a great friend who always offers her support, and she's super dedicated to the virtues she pursues. But unlike Kendall, Nia doesn't belong in Hufflepuff. She belongs in Ravenclaw. Nia is the underrated smart girl of the group. She's wise, creative, and sharp as a tack. Liliana Ketchman. Lily quickly became the new Maddie on Dance Moms Season 8. She's clever, ambitious, and cunning, making her the perfect Slytherin. Lily knows how important leadership is for success, which is why she's all for it. Lily is living proof that Slytherins are far from evil. Jojo Siwa Jojo Siwa is super nice and always willing to go the extra mile for her fans. It's easy to see that Jojo belongs in Hufflepuff. I like it. She's hardworking, kind, and super dedicated to honing her craft. It's no wonder that Jojo excels in everything she does. She definitely knows how to work a crowd while being totally genuine. Kalani Hilliker Kalani Hilliker has a strong sense of leadership and self-preservation. She knows how to talk her way out of a hectic situation despite being the one who started the fire in the first place. Clearly, Kalani belongs in the Hogwarts dungeons with the rest of the Slytherins. Her ambition speaks for itself. Paige Highland Paige Highland didn't have an easy run on Dance Moms. Despite being hardworking and determined, Paige couldn't impress her teacher and eventually lost all passion for dance. Paige is a lover, not a fighter, making her the perfect addition to the Hufflepuff house. Brady Farrar Brady Farrar is determined to be the best. He's got a lot of nerve and is known for his chivalry. Being the only boy on Abby Lee Miller's dance squad isn't for the faint-hearted. He's brave and daring and 100% determined, so we're not too surprised that Brady is a Gryffindor at heart. Brooke Highland Unlike her sister Paige, Brooke Highland is destined to spend most of her time studying in the Ravenclaw common room. Brooke doesn't take her studies lightly. She's got a degree in marketing and management, as well as a business degree. She's smart, authentic and creative, which is why she is destined to sleep in the Ravenclaw Tower. Bryn Rumfalo Bryn might be shy and reserved at times, but a lion is waiting to roar inside of her. Obviously, Bryn was destined to join the Gryffindor house. She's mentally strong and focused and always makes her own decisions. She follows her heart and is brave to a fault. Eliana Walmsley She's witty, wise, and super original. But Eliana is so much more than that. She's quick on her feet and intellectual to boot, making her the perfect Ravenclaw. Eliana can learn choreographies in the blink of an eye. Phileas Flitwick would be proud. Abby Lee Miller when it comes to dance teacher Abby Lee Miller, it's easy to see that she belongs in Slytherin. Abby is a mean girl who'll do anything to get her way. Sarah? No, baby! 
No one is as determined as her, and she has a strong sense of fraternity. Maddie Ziegler Just like her former dance teacher, Maddie Ziegler belongs in Slytherin. Maddie will do anything to win a competition, and she's determined to get the highest score. Horace Slughorn would definitely try to recruit her into his club of exceptional students. Which Hogwarts house do you belong in and why? Sound off in the comments. And that's a wrap. Subscribe to The Things and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.